Yo. I may cuss, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first. Bars. Yo, look, right? <laughs> Enough about me. Let's get to y'all. Cancer energy, right? That's where we at with it right now. Cancer energy. It's going to be a reading for the cancers. Cross watches included. I can feel you. I can feel you watching. Same rules apply if you want to get in contact with me because you want a reading. You can go to the link in the description box of the ticket to my website where you can arrange an appointment with me via my calendar. Real simple process. We could pick apart your chart bars, that NATO chart. Um, I can even do a reading based upon the current planetary transits as well. So if you don't have your time of birth, it's okay. We can still chop it up. You get an hour though. I can even do both tarot reading and an astrological reading in the same session. You know, we can work something out. Or you can just get one or the other. It's up to you. Three card draw though. I ain't gonna hold y'all long pause. And with that being said, let's get these cards red bars. Just feel my way through this. This card right here represents the situation at hand. The benevolent guide. This card is famous today. So far, so far, so far. This card right here represents how you feel about the situation. Saturn, correct. This card right here represents the fact that to consider regarding all of this. Copper. Let's look at that. I like how the, I like the tones of all of those blues and how it blends in. I like that. I like that shit. I like it. All right. Okay, we're going to get to it, though. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. So the benevolent God, I can tell you right off top what this is about without going into the book. So this is about you may have some questions. You may have some questions about the things that you've been doing, participating in, and they may be along the lines of doubts, concerns, and worries. Um, but what is being asked of you at this time is to think back on life to situations where you didn't know how you was going to quite get through something, but you got through it based upon some information. It could have been a spiritual download. If it wasn't a spiritual download, it was something that you figured out in your mind. It was like a puzzle of some sort, but you figured it out. And this has happened time and time again. It's being asked of you to revisit those instances because you can either pick up on the formula again based upon your circumstance right now, or it can lead you back to the essence or the feeling of what it is that you did or need to do in order to obtain specific information to get to where you're headed. All right. Sometimes this comes in the form also of, you know, getting a tarot read. Speaking out to a spiritual leader, whether they do tarotries, whether they're astrologers, whether they're numerologists, they can be yogis, they can be holistic healers, they can be masseuses, they can be psychologists, all right? Um, it can be a, a grandma, grandpa, great grandma, great grandpa, you know what I'm saying? Big mama style or whatever the case may be. Whoever you confide in for that type of voice of reckoning, it's being asked of you to reach to those guides. It could be in the form of um, dreams, messages that come in your dreams, things of that nature. But it's definitely told to listen to the hum. All right, you see that bee there? It's being asked to listen to the hum. So you know how to be. It works in its process. You'll find it along the process. Like I said, you're doing something, you're trying to figure something out. So during that process, you got to listen for the hum. And the best way that you can do that is to quiet the ego. Calm your tits, turn it down a couple of notches. You know what I mean? Silence your ego a bit. Because it might even be your ego that's disturbing you. Interfering, getting in the way with your judgment. Clouding your judgment. So if you can calm your tits a bit and get into the vein of listening. Because a home is a vibration that is low. Right? However, it resonates. Key word here is it resonates very deeply so once you quiet your mind quiet your soul it may even take some meditating practices um whatever it is that you do you know lighting your incense your palo santos whatever it is that you do to get in your get in your vibe and your groove do that now saturn is here as well and i've pulled this card before this is means this is how you feel right now that the work is at hand you got to do the work you got to do the work and What's interesting about Saturn, 
I've learned recently by obtaining this deck. And it's awkward because I've always knew as an astrologer that restraint and um, restriction is a part of the planet Saturn. But because I've always, I think it's because I'm a workaholic. It's that part, and it's New York City, baby. You gotta get with the, you gotta get with the shits. You understand what I'm saying? It's New York City. I'm in the city, city. You know what I mean? So that's gonna happen from time to time here on this channel. Um, but through all of the work, the way that work happens, especially when it's talking about Saturn, is you gotta step and see the sickle historically is rel relative to agriculture. All of this dark. Yeah, Saturn gets dark, don't get me wrong, right? But it's Saturday too, it's Saturn's day. But in order to get the sickle to chop down the harvest, you gotta wait. You gotta wait for everything to grow. You know what I'm saying? So it's important to step back sometimes. I'll give you a perfect example. When I started doing tarot reads, I was just pumping them shits out back to back to back to back to back to back. Pause, because that's crazy. But I was. And it's not that I wasn't enjoying it, I was. Um, I like the buzz and all that bars because I'm nice. But what I started learning is, like I said, I can be a workaholic. I'm just exhausted some days. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, all the spirits and, then, you know, the feeling. I'm a Pisces. I'm sensitive and all that shit. All that accumulates over time. And then I get statistical and I start looking at the stats, right? And I'm like, okay, start piecing, listening to the hum, right? Listening to my body, listening to the, to the spirit, What's going on with me? And what I found is restriction and delay is needed for reflection. All of the re-words start coming into play here. And that's what's being asked of you to listen to the re-words, reflect, refrain, restraint, um, revitalize, regenerate. And you'll notice that things start to grow the more you pull back. So I say that to say this, I started doing the readings weekly. And I mean, it may fluctuate from time to time. I might have my spurts. But when I stepped back and then I looked at the stats again, this shit said, whoa. I said, oh, got a little slope going on. You understand what I'm saying? And it freed up some time for me to get back to my creative pursuits and stuff like that. And just to get back and give back to myself. Saturn is a great rewarder and a great teacher. The greatest teacher out of all of the planets. Because it's through the diligence. It's through the work that you learn. Can't, can't give you that in gold, but not only that, the sun is on the fingertip of this, middle finger represents Saturn too, by the way, but the sun is on the fingertip, so that your destiny is in your own hands, all right? There's been great historical conflict spoken about in the astrological realm about the sun and Saturn, for great reasons too. This card, this alchemy deck is definitely showing me new things about it. Your destiny is still in your hands. Just got to quiet your ego. Remember what I said, right? The sun represents ego in astrology. Calm your tits a bit. Now I'm going to get into this copper card because this is the factor to consider. Copper. In ancient times on an island called Cyprus, copper was mined extensively to make vessels and tools. This island is the same fertile ground of Aphrodite. The god is associated with the planet Venus and the forces of love, pleasure, and fertility, such as the magic of copper. This golden-hued metal elicits delight and mystique, even a sense of awe. The copper card marks the arrival of Eros into the laboratory. It is likely the alchemist has been hard at work for too long. You see what I'm saying? Like, you see what I'm saying? Um, prioritizing scholarly pursuits over sensual pleasure. Get ready for a shift of priorities. For an awakening of the heart and the life-generating centers of the body. In the true alchemical experiment, nothing is excluded or separate from the work. Bring sensuality into the fold and embrace it with the reverence and curiosity. Aphrodite smiles upon you. Listen, I, I need to make this with strong conviction. I need to say this. I'm feeling this read just totally right now. Look, it's true. This is a cancer reading, right? The opposition is Capricorn, right? In astrology, oppositions for some people are scary when all you got to do is really look at it and it says, look, sometimes you just got to make the, de the decision to go back and forth. You got to rock the boat, baby. You know, you got to get on the seesaw and, every, you know, you got to level it out. You know what I'm saying? Sort of Libra, but not. You know what I'm saying? You just got to weave in and out because the work is not going to be meaningful without the love, baby. The feels. 
Cancer, you gotta get in your feels. You gotta get sensual. You gotta get touchy feely. You, I don't know if you got, if you're not dating, and you feel it's because of work. Think about that. That's not natural. All right, it's natural to have to do both and have to separate timing or allocate time to each. But make that time, yo. Sometimes it's just as simple as a text. Hey, yo, what up? What's good with you? You good? Anything. You know what I'm saying? It's always a showing of sentiment that is needed more swiftly than the work. The work is longer. Pause. The sentiment is shorter. The moon. You reflect the moon with Saturn. You know, add the love in there. Sure, it might be short-lived. In and out. Sporadic, even. Maybe a little wild. Get fucking wild, yo. Alright, until next time, I'm out.